The federal government's decision to hit the reset button on the purchase of those new F-35 jets could cause collateral damage to some Canadian aerospace companies. A select few have been subcontracted by Lockheed Martin to build components for the jets. But as our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Bourbeau reports, some of those orders are now up in the air. The F-35 fighter jet was supposed to be the plane that would defend Canada until the middle of this century. But now that future is a bit less certain. We have hit the reset button. What that means is a team of bureaucrats will look at other options, kick the tires of competing fighter jets. But today, Liberal leader Bob Ray said that's not good enough. A genuine open market competition uh, in which we will be asking people to come forward with their best possible deal, their best possible deal on price, their best possible deal on maintenance. One of Ray's worries is this review will conclude the F-35 is the best plane and we're back where we started. And as far as the maker of the F-35 is concerned, all this talk of reset has not changed anything. A spokesman for Lockheed Martin told Global News today the Canadian government is still a partner. And being a partner brings benefits. Canadian companies have half a billion dollars in contracts to help build the F-35. Here in Winnipeg, they're making tail wings for the jet. The opportunities for four will, uh, for, for more of those, uh, those contracts, continuation, uh, is, uh, we'll see. Too soon to tell at this point. A Lockheed Martin representative says he's assuming Canada will remain an F-35 partner. There is some concern that there's a risk going forward that if Canada decides not to be part of F-35, there could be consequences to that. I think that's what he's referring to, but we don't have any, none of that's in our planning right now. The hope in this factory is hitting the reset button doesn't mean hitting the eject button on the F-35. Jopper Bow, Global News, Ottawa.